Welcome everybody back to the social challenge where we go out every single day for 30 days. No drink, no drugs, no tobacco. And we're also following the book, The Neil, um, The Rules of the Game by Neil Strauss as a social fitness challenge. Uh, today is currently day 22 recap. So Jai, why don't you explain what we had to do for day 22? Okay, 20, day 22 we had mm. a couple of tests. The mm. first one was turning negatives into positives. Turn negatives into positives. So this this is um, kind of like if someone says something like, oh, I'm having such an awful day at work, blah, blah, blah. You try to reframe it. It's all about reframing. You f try to reframe it in a way that is positive to the point where like they're like, oh, okay, I can really, I can really see that. So that's like, really good. A, good, a good quote that summarizes this is, um, two men look outside prison bars. Uh, one sees the stars and the other sees the mud. So it's... Was that in the... It's not, the no, chapter? this is just straight from the dome. That was nice, man. Cheers, thank you. Um, so oh, yeah, this is just reframing um, <laughs> positive um, situations out of sort of dire situations. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> and the other one? Um, well, we had a choice. Um, the first one was... <laughs> I forgot about the houses. This, the first <laughs> one, like, it sounded like a joke one, but... He wanted you to go into a public area, and yeah. should someone cross your path, uh -huh. you say, did you just grope me? But in a friendly manner. So, yeah. I mean, you could do it aggressively, I guess, but it's not really going to get the same no. results. Okay, so the back context to this is flirtation. <laughs> okay, so the back context of this is flirtation. The book talks about um, doing this in a playful way, just to kind of like re reframe the situation to make it look like uh, someone's uh, trying to hit on you. But the thing is, pe don't people normally do this in conversation? But do cheeky flirts? Yeah, so... Yeah, but usually it's not your, it's not your standard style. Go to, I suppose it shocks yeah. people, and yeah. then it makes them more susceptible to whatever you say next. Yeah. Because they're, they're confused. You just you've confused them, you've literally just thrown them up. Did you just touch my ass? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm across the room, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or, uh, option B was to go to yeah. a CD um, store yeah. and ask for a recommendation. Which he says may come up later. Mm, okay. I'm curious to where that's going to go. Okay. Um, well, I, think, I think the main thing that uh, this chapter was talking about was reframing things. Uh, in a flirtatious way because people naturally do this in conversations and I'm just trying to think of other ways that you could sort of reframe things as uh, flirting well I think it's um, not it wasn't just that it was mm, not the it was um, well, it was reframing it was the core theme because reframing a negative to a positive and then reframing mm -hmm. if someone um, casually brushes into you like did you just touch my ass? <laughs> well it's just <laughs> really yeah. about um, expectations thrown it on its head the, uh, the, the example he used, um, it was a movie, and it said it was the scene oh, side off, and it yeah. was like a young, innocent looking boy, mm -hmm. and then as it pans out, um, turns out he's wearing Nazi uniform, mm. which changes things. And pans out even more, he's got a yeah. gun or something. It does, yeah. well that's going with the thing. Yeah. Maybe it was like holding a puppy. I don't yes. know, it would have been something like that. Something to keep, I suppose that's uh -huh. uh, people get interested. In people, if they see mysterious all its layers. Yeah, and I, I, I think another one was that, like, um, uh, if you look at the bigger picture or something, you can inspire people uh, if they're only seeing things from, oh, one, perspective. from one perspective. Like, uh, say someone is afraid to do a certain thing, and then they look at the bigger picture, you know, we're not going to live forever, we're on this spinning ball, like, if we're surrounded by stars... I mean, there's no better time than the present moment. It's like, oh, it's a, it go, it basically goes from having this view to be like, whoa, I'm part of the larger picture. Oh my God, I'm not gonna live forever. Holy crap! You know, it is mean? fun to say it. People so. don't cheer up because you're gonna die one day. <laughs> you do know you're gonna die. It's okay. One day. Like, <laughs> we've all got this horrible disease called life. Nobody gets out alive unless you're enlightened or a YouTuber. Then your content lives on forever. Forever. <laughs> Or until YouTube just crumbles, which it might. It may. 
Sounds a nihilist sort of That's thing. Right. Forward thinking nihilist. Nothing, nothing matters. <laughs> things fall, man. Things fail. You never yeah. know. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want to add for you, thing? Um, How did you actually find the task? The task. I really know? enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it because, like, uh, on a normal sort of like day to day, like people do generally do uh, talk about things that are going um, wrong and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. it's kind of nice to always be like, be like, oh, okay, well, like. If you look at it this way, it's not so bad. You know what I mean? It, 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 it was nice because I had so many people be like, oh, oh, okay, I never saw it that way, oh. So that, know, was, that was cool. Do you know that what I cool. liked about yesterday? What? We met these, there was these girls, and I think they were freshers. Mm-hmm. And they really had their heads together. Like, they had brought snacks, you know, mm. half of them were drinking water. We, yeah, one of them was like, drinking water. I was like, what's up, sister? What's up? What's what I stay hydrated. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, kids these days are pretty smart. <laughs> like, I'm kids these days. <laughs> I know. I have like 10 years on these kids. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 10 years. Where does the time go? It's so interesting seeing uh, freshers as well because I was like, that was me once. That was me. No. Mm. God loved them. Yeah, and like a lot of people, like I, I was talking on this in another one, but like just the fear of getting old is so huge, even amongst people who are like a lot younger than us. Mm. It's crazy. Why are you fearing getting old? Life only gets better. I feel like I may eat well. You're all good. <laughs> Exercise. You're all good. I feel like it might work out for me. Mm. You know. You're doing alright. I'm doing alright. You're doing alright. I'm okay. Michelangelo. Thank you. <laughs> yes. He paints. <laughs> I want to <laughs> I, yeah, that's what I've been doing lately as well. Um, mm. I suppose with um I, I've been watching a lot of documentaries on people that um can be inspiring to me. So I've been looking mm. through all the greats, the great mm. artists lately, okay. all the documentaries. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I've got quite a lot of opinions on them now. Like, um I really don't like Da Vinci. Mm. Not as well as a human we're, we're, we're talking about that. That um, one with Da Vinci, like yeah. he was, I found him quite rude, and I don't think mm. I would actually like him in real life. <laughs> so he's off. You know what was that? What was that thing you were saying? Um, mm. Build like an imaginary table, then have some like like yeah, like a team inspire. of people, like a like a dream team. All yeah. the people that you like. For, well, in your squad. Da Vinci's out. Dead or alive. Da Vinci's off the yeah. table. Uh, Michelangelo can go. Mm. Can go on. I like his work ethic. Work ethic. Yeah, I'm the sort of person though that I, w- I, 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 I can, I can like I can look at someone and even though they may not be a hundred percent like perfect or like mm. they may be like evil or something like that, I can be like, okay, what, what good did they do, and can I extract that from all the shit <laughs> that they've done? Is that why you read Mein Camp? I actually haven't read. You have under the pillow. I actually haven't learned. Are you I sure? Learned I'm not. sure I've seen I've just watched documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> Mine can't, yeah. No, but you know what? It is a good point. Like, yeah. I was watching, like, Picasso and all. Mm. We've, got, quite we've, a we've terror- got, like, 40... Well, we just, we just haven't got that long. Maybe, like... Okay. okay. Well, yeah. Jane, quite a terrible person. Mm-hmm. But, you know, he did really well in life. Who's so, Hitler? Is, no. Oh, I thought... This I thought, is Picasso. Picasso, all right. He was also <laughs> terrible. He was real shit. But you know what? Like... He, he did well for himself, so you don't even have to be a nice person to have self-esteem or feel like you deserve things. <laughs> but in fact, yeah. it seems to get in the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's wrap, let's wrap, let's wrap this up. Um, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode. I don't know if we clear that. We no, we got that good. We got that good. No, we're not doing this. We're not doing I'm it not doing again. This again. We're not doing it again. No. So thank you very much for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next one. Get out there, get socializing, eat clean, eat vegan, peace, love, and vegan.